Hi guys, we're here at the Kawartha Sportsman Show in Lindsay, Ontario. And uh, I just want to show you a couple of things here. Some nice little rainbow trouts in a pond here, which I believe they'll be uh, fishing for. Looks like there's going to be lots to do, so we'll check up in with you in a bit. So I'm here with Bobby of The Perfect Jig. How are you doing? Hi. Good, how are you? <laughs> All right on. Uh, what makes The Perfect Jig The Perfect Jig? Well, we have a lot of different products that we sell at The Perfect Jig, but our most popular and one of the most unique ones is got to be the Elite Jig that came out just a couple years ago. Um, what's great about it is it has a chunk lock system on the bait so that your chunk isn't constantly falling off while you fish. So here's a, here's a look at the jig. It's got a nice head shape that can come through cover well, good strong hooks, comes in a mini and a full size jig. And right up at the top of the shank, you can't really see it in the package, but you can see it right here, there's a screw. So when you push your chunk up on the jig, you can screw that chunk in and keep it sturdy up at the top of the jig and that way your bait's not going to be falling down and you can keep fishing and hopefully keep that plastic on long. Right on! So you have a special here at the show today. Yep. Five right. for thirty dollars. Five for thirty for the elite jigs and then plastics and regular jigs are all for five for twenty-five. That's pretty cool. Yep. So where are you from? I'm from Peterborough. Uh, the Perfect Jig comes from Whitby originally. Um, and uh, the owner, Brendan Nags, is from Whitby as well. But I'm one of the pro staff and I uh, come from Peterborough. Excellent. Well, thanks very much. Um, no oh, you even have hats. Yes. Look, they have hats that are kind of cute too. Very nice. Well, thanks very much. No problem. Enjoy the show. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm going to try my best at working this uh, pretend gun and playing this game. <laughs> this should be fun. Get ready, it says. <laughs> oh. Alright. Hey, I'm not doing bad. <laughs> They're a lot faster than that in real life, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. For sure they are. <laughs> Hey, I'm not doing bad, eh? Yeah, you gotta go home now. You're over your limit. <laughs> oh, this is when somebody pats you on the shoulder. Goes, you have to reload all the time. You only get three shots. Oh, you only get three shots. Yeah. Reload. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end? Okay. 31 shots, 23 kills. Yeah, not bad. not bad. 31 shots, 23 kills. Wow. I don't know if I can do that in real life, but it was fun. <laughs> Absolutely, this is, this is going to do it for you. Right over the weeds. Right over thick weeds. Don't even hesitate to do it. And if, if your weeds get... We almost had two. You hadn't, you hadn't said anything. <laughs> Same thing with this. Fish them right over the weeds. Don't let it sink. As soon as it touches the water, get it moving. Remember something. Fish feed by by vibration. Yeah. Oh yeah. I see. Sometimes that vibrate it, that end vibrates. No, not that. The whole bait. Oh yeah. The whole bait. You're gonna watch. You see, see what that guy's got in his hands? See that walleye? See what's in the fish's mouth? Yeah. See, see what's in that fish's mouth? There. Now, if you, I'm going to give you my card, and you can go on my, you can go on my website, right? And you can go look at all this. See all these people? See what, that's me right there. See what's in that fish's mouth? So I'm with John, and uh, not not this John, but yeah, I'm with him too. But um, I'm with another John. <laughs> And we're going to talk to him about Gremlins Custom Bait. So, how did this come about? This uh, came about uh, just not being able to get what I wanted. And I've been tying for uh, 27 years now. Wow. And, you uh, sure have a lot of beautiful things. Like, great 
big ones from like muskies and stuff? Uh, those are ones are for pike and once you get a little bit farther it's going to be get into some musky. Wow. Baits and uh, mostly tied for walleye. So. Wow. And you have jig heads to go? Yeah. I've got my, I just get into jig heads this year uh, just for people that want to use the swim baits. And uh, nice. It's a hobby that keeps me very, very busy. And all these ones you have tied yourself? Yes. They're beautiful. That one looks like a perch, eh? Yes, that is a, that is a very big seller perch. That's awesome. They're very, oh, and that one would be really good for trout, I think, huh? I don't argue. <laughs> whatever, whatever the fish want to bite, I'll uh, gladly. And airplane jigs? Yes. Oh, wow, they were cute, eh? Yeah, they're for uh, like lake trout in the uh, winter time, actually. Yep. Very popular. Awesome. And now, what are these little things down here? Uh, that's actually for fly tying. Uh, so, uh, one is called a bobbin here, and that's for your thread. Okay. And then these here are for different styles of wings. So you actually burn your material to make the wing of your fly. Oh wow! Yeah. So. Well, there's some, and there's some little marabou jig ones here. Yes. Beautiful. And the tungsten uh, weights. Tungsten weights, yeah. Wow, these are every color imaginable. Every color imaginable. That's beautiful work. Thank you. And of course, you sell the. Uh, I sell bucktails too when I. Uh, bucktails, yeah. When I have access to lots of extras. And then you have other things for sale here. Look at the little mice. These just intrigue me. They'd be great <laughs> over a bass bed, like you know, a weed bed for bass. Beautiful. That's awesome. And you're from Coburg? Yes, I'm Coburg, Ontario. And you can find me online, just Gremlins Custom Baits, just on Facebook. I strictly do uh, word of mouth and and a few stores. So that's, Excellent. That's it. Well, thank you very much, John. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Big Jim McLaughlin, he's just going to do a little bit of a talk on some of the lures that he likes to use. Hi Jim. Hey, cool, how are you? Oh, hey, we're hi. just down, down, down here at the core at the Sportsman Show, and let me just pick out a couple of things here that I really think you need to know about when, when it comes to uh, the fishing this year. Okay. We, we, we can get more if we break them. <laughs> something that something that you hear so much about now is you hear a lot about you know there's different rigs for everything they got uh, you know different rigs and most of them all they are is presentation methods because everybody has ten thousand plastic baits they have swim baits they have worms they have craws they have all uh, types of stuff out there so this is a little thing here called a Tokyo rig and you can see it's kind of cool it has a little wire that hangs down here you can bend the end of it so you put your sinker on the wire whatever weight you want. You just make a little bend, bend in it, so the sinker drags along the bottom while it, while it, while it, you know while your bait's up above it and does its thing. And if you want to fish with it in heavy cover, what you can do is you can throw it up in the air a little bit and let it come down. And when it falls, it comes down like this, so the sinker hits the weeds and goes through the weeds and pulls the bait through, so you can get up, you know, down 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 beneath where where the fish are. That's one little thing. That plastic bait on there is a jack a jackal uh, rhythm wave, biggest selling swim bait in Canada. Absolutely hot. Absolutely hot. Excellent. Absolutely hot. And another thing, and, and once again, it's just another method of presentation. Uh, whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. Where am I? There's the one I wanted. Just another method of presentation. And uh, both these things, too, are from companies I don't work with. I have nothing to do with them. Uh, they don't pay me. Now the rhythm wave is a different thing. This thing is the bomb. You got to have it. It's on everything that I own. This little thing here is called a flashy swimmer, and you can see it's basically a jig head, but it has a little spinner underneath it here that spins while while you're really it, and it spins right behind the hook. So when a big old bass or a walleye or something comes up behind it, he's right on the back of it. You rig it. It's weedless. It's really really cool. It's made by own, 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 owner hooks. Uh, I'm generally going to fish this on power pole line, like something. Uh, I'm going to fish it around weeds a lot, henceforth it being you know, you know weedless. And there's nothing beats braided line for getting out, out of weeds. 
Uh, yeah, floor, you know, floor, floor carving is the trendy thing right now, but when you get into weeds, you really need great braided line to pull the fish out. You know, we often talk about how we used to fish and how we used to fish with monofilament and how do we ever get fish out. But I'll tell you, braid makes it so much easier. Braid makes it so much easier. But just uh, that's just a couple of little things that I think if you, you have a bunch of plastic baits that uh, you like to fish, plastic baits are nothing until you have something to put them on. And there's a couple of little things. Hey, it works for me, it'll work for you. Excellent. Cool. Thanks so much, Jim. You're welcome. And that was a really good tip, you guys. Check out those uh, baits when you see them in the stores. Nab them. They look like they're proven winners.